guess what? Making dresses isn't as scary as you think. Hello and welcome to my sewing room. My name is Ruth Agel. I'm the creator of Hazel Twig and today we're going to learn how to make dresses. Now mind you, this has taken me years and I'm giving it to you for for a like on Facebook or some such thing or you can watch my videos on YouTube. Um, if you've ever made an outfit from a pattern, you will know that there's basic shapes. There's pants, there's sleeves, and there's shirts. Those are a rough, rough little drawing. So, <laughs> yeah, in case you were wondering, I wake up, my hair just looks like this. If you recall, when we made a onesie, I laid the doll down on a piece of paper I drew up on one side about where her sleeve would be. I drew around and I drew, I uh, drew down like this. Then on the other side, I made a corresponding mark. And if you recall, I also made a mark between her legs. I use that as a guide. I go like this and that way I have two halves that are the, exactly the same. If you want, you can measure and make sure there's enough room for bending and sitting. And if you also recall, I use the same piece for the front and the back, but on the front, I cut it the way it is. In the back, I fold it in half and I cut a little bit higher because shirts are always lower in the front unless you're J-Lo. So, here are some examples of dresses you can make. Here, I want to start here. Okay, here's a simple one. So, if you want to make this dress that's a high-waisted dress, you just go like, oh, fold it in half. Just go like this. There's your bodice. There's the back with a little bit higher. Basically, cut a rectangle, gather it, put it underneath, and then you can make your sleeves. If you want to make a dress like this, with or without the pleats. For myself, I might sew the pleats first the way I want them, and then lay a pattern piece over it and cut it so the pleats are centered at the middle of the thing and then just cut it. And for the skirt, you would just go like this. And then add, gather a piece of fabric and make the uh, bottom ruffle like that. I saw a dress like this. I go through, if I see dolls wearing clothes, that I like, I put them in my inspiration book, which the brownies have now held for ransom for weeks. I have not seen that thing in weeks. But anyway, I saw a cute dress that had gingham, and then it had a floral, and then gingham, and it was really cute. Simple and cute. With this dress, the sleeves were built in. So just, oh, okay, so here you go. So you would just go like this. Cut it in half, go like this, go like this. Don't forget, every piece is an island. You would cut this out of the gingham, this out of the floral, and this out of the gingham. And you would just treat every piece like an island with little sandy shores that are your seam allowances around them. When I'm working with the hem, I make that part a little bit longer. If you wanted to make a dress like this, this is another precedent I've seen. Just take your scissors, go like that, however many waves, fold it in half so they're always alike. And then you would just, it would be a little bit tricky because when you pin it together, you'd have to go like this and like this and like this and like this. With fabric, it's a lot easier than paper. And you all know, I hope, to clip around your seams. 
You don't have to clip where the pattern tells you because you're the boss of the pattern. All right. For a dress like this, kind of a drop-waisted, more 20 style, you go like this. Really, um, and pretend I folded that. So you would have this, you gather, you uh, gather along the top and the bottom, put the belt on, and then gather around the lower skirt. It looks complicated, but it's not. Super easy. If you wanted to do a 40s style dress like this, for this, I would cut out the back first, going higher, and um, then I would cut it like this. I would cut it like this. I know it says my glasses. And then I would cut it like this. So then you have these skirt pieces, you have this top piece. You would make one for that side, one for that side, and they would wrap just like this. But wait, you say the skirt is uh, more, it flares out. With these three pieces, I would take them, leave the tops the same so they'll fit, and I would go like this. I would, I would add triangles on either side. It's easy to do, you, really, it is. Just like that, and then when you sew the skirt together, it'll have that tulipy effect. Say you want a dress that goes like this, that has gathers at the front. For that, simplicity itself. That one had a square neck, so let's make this square. Hang on. There we go. Okay, so you have a square neck. Then, you'd have two of these. You can just use one if you want and cut it out with folded. And then I would just take this and basically cut out a rectangle, gather it, add it. It'll be a cute dress and I've seen precedent for this before. Or if you want to just do uh, two different fabrics like that, you could do that. So, I hope you get the gist of what I'm saying. And, there goes my putty. I hope this helps. Thank you so much and don't forget.